The television you're watching tonight, your mobile phone and your computer are one day going to be replaced and junked. These devices, more often than not, contain hazardous materials that will add to a growing mountain of what's called e-waste. And too many of them are ending up in landfill or being shipped to emerging countries where they poison the ground and the population. Australians proudly boast a tech-savvy lifestyle. The past decade has seen a rapid uptake of new technologies, switching from VCRs to DVDs, fixed phones to their cordless brothers, and of course mobile phones to, well, entertainment devices that can do anything but make a phone call. A lot of it is about purchase envy, and we see it, you know, people wanting to have a bigger flat screen TV or a smaller laptop or a faster gaming unit. While we might be a throwaway society, our quest to keep up with the digital Joneses now see us trading up before our products even reach their use-by dates. Electronic waste, or e-waste as it's commonly known, often ends up in landfill, either in Australia or exported to poorer nations. One of Australia's largest e-waste recyclers says it's a growing problem with no end in sight. We're one of the few developed nations that still allows e uh, electronic items to go to landfill. And at the moment, there's no positive signs looking at getting any legis legislation through to uh, stop it from going to landfill. Handling e-waste isn't like traditional recycling. All the electronic items are, are put together. You generally have a plastic casing or a metal casing. Inside that, you'll have computer, uh, computer boards. Um, there'll be a lot of also chemicals and that sort of thing, lead and mercury. So if it go, ends up just being thrown into recycling, it will probably end up in landfill unless someone like us comes and collects it. As more computers are produced, it could mean more of this. There are an estimated 9 million computers in use around the country. Last year, over 2 million new computers were purchased, while 3 million reached the end of their lifespan. While there's no regulation when it comes to the problem, a government program is encouraging corporate Australia to donate its old machines to underfunded public schools. Adrian Brown helps run the Computers for Schools program. The, the idea was to try and boost the number of computers in schools by the Commonwealth Government getting various departments to donate either excess computers or computers that had gone out of their lease period or um, out of their warranty period. But anyone from big corporations to individuals can recycle e-waste. You can always dispose of your old mobile phone and printer cartridges at most retail outlets, shrinking your junk heap and helping the environment. Debs Majumda, World News